What's up guys, Adam here. Welcome back to the 16th episode of the Milan Career Mode. January transfer window is open. We've got the Supercoppa Italiana, the EA Sports Super Cup. If you guys are brand new here, you guys can leave me a like down below. Why not also consider subscribing? It always does help the channel. Before we head into the Super Cup, let's just take a look at the calendar for the month of January. We've got the Super Cup, we've got Juventus, we've got Monza, all this while trying to make a signing. I said last episode, I think we should make a signing at the back help out tomori to help out kalulu kalulu can play at right back and we have some aspirations for the champions league we've been playing so well we also did get a transfer offer for davide calabria from PSG and that's where I'm actually looking there's a few options for center back there is Yapet Tanganga he can't play center back 5 foot 11 he's got the real face so that's why I was maybe pushing more towards him there is Evan Ndika who I am really really looking at and I took a look at PSG they've got a massive amount of center backs and there's also Sven Botman now the only thing these players don't really have a real face so it just adds a little bit less immersion but it would still be a fantastic signing especially in and I think we could get him for less because of the amount of players they have in their side. I think because of the amount of center backs they have on their books, 42 million straight away just offering his market value. See what PSG have to say about that. Hopefully they don't storm out of the deal. I wanted to, they want Salamakers. Salamakers is a player I literally haven't used. And why do they want Salamakers? I have absolutely no idea. We have one player going their way, another player coming our way. We save money on this deal. I don't know what PSG is thinking. I'm gonna take this, accept it, and just run. Bauman was a player we were looking at last season, and in the end, he ended up joining Newcastle. Just gonna put in a bid. We already have such a fantastic deal with PSG for Indica. One off for 39.5 million. They want Tommaso Povega. That's not a player I'd like to let go. Salamakers, I get it. He's a player I could let go. It's not as if we don't have the money. 42.5 million is something I'd like. They want 48.7. We can definitely accept this. We can negotiate a contract. In the end, we're just gonna have to decide. Is it Bauman? Do we want Indica? I think I'm pushing more towards Indica, but 48.7 million is money we have. We have aspirations for Champions League. These are the players we should definitely be getting in the side. Bauman's a starter, and Indica's more of a rotation player. Indica definitely has a lot more speed on him, strength, and we're still pretty much scouting Botman. He might get burned for speed at the back. They're both realistic signing. Tomori has the speed to cover him as well. Kalulu playing at right back. I think I'd like to go for Indica. We're gonna go ahead and negotiate and Dika, I think, is what I'd like to go for. I've seen him suggested. He's definitely going to be a great player for this side. Botman maybe could look to him in another window, but for right now, I think Ndika really help us this season. Ndika, the thing is, I didn't check the players in similar positions. Ndika, let's say 85k for the French center back coming in from PSG. He's getting more than he's making at PSG, and he's actually playing. Evan Ndika joining Milan in this January transfer window. This is, I think, going to be such a fantastic sign for us and it helps solidify us at the back even though we haven't been conceding that much 33 million plus alexis salamakers salamakers he didn't play a single game this season did not play a single game this season you guys have definitely saw that Kalulu, don't worry. F, bad negotiation. I could have saved 15.8 million. We have all the money in the world. Like, this game makes no sense when negotiations. If we were a lower league side, it would have made sense. We've signed Endika. I got an F. It makes no difference. It makes literally no difference. Take that out of the game. It makes no sense. Got some big rotation at the back. Kier is obviously retiring at the end of the season. Endika, Chiao, who's just continuing to play well. Kalulu who maybe is going to play more as a right back. We can maybe let go of Florenzi. So let's add him to the transfer list. Tomori, Kalulu, we've got Calabria, we've got Teo. Our back four is just absolutely incredible this season. We got Giroud's contract is expiring in six months. We got Lorenzo Colombo, who's been playing and hasn't really been getting in there. It's obviously been Jonathan David. I'd like to make a loan for a striker, and it's actually an Italian. Let's just do this. If we can get Wilfred Nonto on the books for the rest of the season, maybe try to loan Colombo out or see if Giroud maybe gets an offer for him. We're going to have a lot of players up there, but we need the depth for the end of the season that's to come especially if we're gonna try to go far let's just try and give it a short loan to the end of the season and if anything we can actually loan with option to buy let's do short loan with option to buy 
for Wilfred Nonto, striker. He's got some good traits on him. He's young. He has the speed dribbler trait. That's a signing that makes sense for Milan right now. And let's get it going. The EA Sports Super Cup. This one's at San Siro, Roma. We did beat them this season. I tell you, they always give us such a tough game. And Dika on the bench for this one. Teo with the captain's armband. We've got such a fantastic lineup. Like I said, boys, last season, it's not the biggest of trophies, but it's a trophy I'd like to win after losing last season. I'd like to get revenge, and especially against a Roma side who we always have trouble against. Rui Patricio in goal. They've got Zvila, Celic on the bench. Oli Skip. Remember him from the Nobs FC. Career mode. Belotti on the bench. Karsdorp, Kamara, Cristante, Vigna. At the top, they've got Oyathabal, Dybala. I literally can't speak English today. And Tammy, Abraham, Milan making a big signing in Evan and Dika. Milan, Roma at the San Siro. Can we win ourselves our first piece of silverware this season? We have big aspirations this season. For the regular viewers who've been watching, you'll know why Chaos has been starting almost every single game. He's playing so Fantastic, Kalulu can send the Ketelar, the Ketelar, what kind of a touch was that from the Belgian, Kalulu trying to whip it across, good strength here by Kalulu, David can turn, finds his way to Kalulu, there's Jonathan David in the box, takes a touch, that's a good block, and what in the world, Roma just inviting pressure from us, Dybala on the counter, Benacer, good stop, and he gets the ball right back, little knuckler from Ziyech, off the corner, Jonathan David there, Rui Patricio, with the grab that's been working so well this season david off those corners benacer the touch needs to get it off his foot quicker that's a foul against roma i don't even have the game sound in my headphones benacer can he whip this one in and that's just incredibly poor by benacer Yathabal. alulu giving chase not to give not to discredit what calabria has done this season we got kalulu a right back has definitely a lot more speed. That one's into Dybala. Menya gets a grab on it. Calabria still going to play those games. David Ziyech. Now pushing almost 31 Ziyech. Trying to cut inside Ziyech. Dribbling by Ziyech. Nobody giving him, him an option. Just runs into Cristante. I take two days off from making a video and I can't speak English. Dribbling this. He's got Vigna all over him. Let's drop it back into Kalulu. Kalulu trying to get across. Isma from outside the box. Hits off Leao. Don't think that was even finding the target. Teo, that, that was meant to be a sliding challenge by Teo. And in the end, he got it. And he cleared it. Oyathabal. Benacer and Tomori get in a challenge. That one slipped through to Dybala. Thought he was going to take the shot. Vigna, that's lovely by Kalulu. End to end. David can turn. David has the Ketelar. The Ketelar. Give him an option, boys. Give him an option. Ziyech, a little bit lower. There is Fikayo Tomori. That one's going to be headed away. David. Tonali. Sandro. Benacer. Leao. Try to take around Cardstorp. Rafael Leao plays it back. Benacer. Tonali from outside. He's going to go wide to Kalulu. It's not done yet. Ball gets whipped in. Leao the header. Patricio the save, we deserve to have a goal in this game, it's coming. Roma had some opportunities, we had the majority of them. Milan playing so well in this final. Let's go Verde, Ziyech has had himself a fantastic game. Verde has continued to play so well and he's going to continue. What is happening? Why is he taking the free kick? Why was I holding R2? Either way, it doesn't matter. In the end, Tonali's injury did go away, but Evan and Dika coming on for his first appearance here. We've been so solid defensively. Hopefully that continues at the back. Tonali, okay, never mind. I, I, I took him off for Benacer. Tonali's staying on. Obega on, you know he can hit some bangers. There's Jonathan David finding Kalulu with the weakest effort. Space opening up. They drop it back. Verde. He's got David. David. Tommaso Pobek. Can you go to the right player? Can you go to the right player? Can you make the right pass? Is this one heading into extra time? I don't like extra time. The amount of times I've freaking done extra time in this stupid franchise. No freaking way is he going to send Zaniolo. Get there, Kalulu. Don't shut down now, boys. Don't shut down now, boys. That's Kalulu. Rock solid. Heading into extra time and penalties if needed. Nicely done. 
by Indica to maybe just put him off there. Leal receives the ball at his feet. Leal now trying to go through. Oh, referee. But not a foul. De Quetelare. Teo. Can send David. Good touch now, Dave. Why is freaking Leal injured now? You can't do this to me, game, man. You can't do this to me. Verde. Whipping in. Tomori's there. There's Fikayo Tomori. There's the goal. We've deserved this entire match. Tomori might have just sealed the victory for us. What a delivery by Verde. What a delivery. Fikayo Tomori. Nobody picking him up in the box. Patricio literally just knocked that into his own goal. But Tomori gets credit with the goal. It was on target. Tomori, the hero in this EA Sports Super Cup. Let me select Povega. Povega. Nice challenge. De Quetelare. Running forward. The seal off the game. De Quetelare. Pressure from everywhere. The composure letting him down. Hits it with his weak foot. But it doesn't matter. Because Milan wins their first piece of silverware this season. The EA Sports Super Cup. The Supercoppa Italiana. Milan won. Roma nil. Always a hard-fought match against Roma. And Dicca playing fantastic when coming on. And the celebrations can begin. Not the biggest trophy, like I've said. And obviously, you guys know it's not the biggest trophy. But still, I wanted to win it. It's something I'd love to get our hands on. And we do as tail with the armband lifting it. Menya made some saves. Everybody played fantastic on towards Juventus in Serie A and then we got the Coppa Italia the Champions League so some signings need to come in to help solidify this side great victory great victory boys lovely stuff it looks like Leeds have accepted the short-term loan but I don't know where the option to buy is either way I'm gonna accept this offer seems like he's not getting any game time at Leeds United maybe we could send Colombo out for another loan try to get that overall up because he scored in that first game played him in games after that and in the end he just hasn't been there but Nonto can actually play on that left hand side as well no matter where they are on the table Juventus is always a big big game they're down in fifth place we're up in first with 54 points Sassuolo still doing incredible this season the Tifo of Ruud Hullet they've got Chiesa, Vlaovic, Kulusevski they've got Valverde I don't know how they're not doing better than this but we're gonna take it Jonathan David Hasn't scored in a couple of appearances, but it's all right. He's still our top goal scorer, giving him a break. Let other people score. It, it can't just always be him. Ziyech, good block. We've got at least starting right behind David today. Calabria and Dika Tomori at the back with Teo with the arm ban. Lovely stuff by Davide. Feeling some pressure by Kalu. Menya, what are you doing? Menya, what are you doing? What are you guys doing? Is a Lovic. Chips that one in. That's sure. Oh, what a save by Menya. What a save by Menya. Thought it was offside for a second, but Menya the save with his feet. Teo the crucial block. Juventus all over us in this one. And it's Artur to take the corner. Whipped in. Benasser there. Off the post by Merino. Off the post by Merino. What a strike. That would have been. Not even facing the goal. Had Mignon beaten. Can't reach it. Good ball. Finds Chiesa. Valverde. Adzic. With the eventual interception. David now. Donali. Why is he dropping so far back, David? I, I don't understand. He's not playing as a false nine. Adzic. Trying to take it wide. Get inside. Tonali. Getting through, Tonali, nice back heel, Jonathan David in the box, Chesney, what a save, what a save by Chesney, was that, did he even get a touch, he didn't even get a touch to it, David, what's happening man, Verde's been an absolute gem this season, he's gonna come on for Akim Ziyech, Ziyech has been, he, he's, he's been playing well, but Verde just has been like a step above, wherever he comes on, wherever he plays, he's been so great and what a signing he's been we we didn't spend that much on him got rid of Salamakers this season I'm, I was saying Verde was definitely going to play into Verde Colombo now he's maybe feeling some pressure that we're trying to loan in Nonto he needs to prove himself here it's a big team like Juventus would be a great goal to score not maybe another loan till the end of the season for Colombo Chiesa Davide should have maybe brought on Kalulu to try and stop 
this. The strike by Vlaovic goes wide. 20 minutes to get something. Kalulu, De Ketelara on Adli. Calabria off. De Ketelara has been playing fantastic this season. And can he get us the game winning goal? Would be something special to see. Lusevsky. Not like this, boys. Not like this after playing so well. Great save by Menya. Should we bring on Franks? I think we should. Maybe a little bit more solidity. He's got that big frame on him, Franks. And we just got to stop this corner from coming in and getting anything. Kostic on for Kulusevsky. Chiesa there. You know, he's just, he's going to, he's going to try to whip it in. Find Artur. Franks. Pogba. Lovely stuff by Franks. And we send someone forward. The Ketelare. Hello? Guys, do you not want a winner? Do you not want a winner? Do you not want anything? What are you guys doing not moving? Donali. Franks. Leao. This could be it, Leao. Colombo. Not running. Now he decides to do it. Leao. The Ketelare. Teo. Back into CDK. Franks. From outside the box. Aster. Franks. A strike just over the bar by Franks. That would have been a great goal to open up his account this season. I think that would have been his first. No quit in both sides today. And Dika having a fantastic game. We take the one point. I'll be all right with that. Tonali. Send this forward. Find Leal. Now Leal can run at goal. Leal. He's got the Kitelar. Trying to find the Kitelar. That's going to be a nil-nil draw against Juve. They had so many opportunities. We had so many opportunities made for such a fantastic game here. It's a shame nobody can get a goal. And it is what it is. And Dika, fantastic game. Well, it looks like Nonto is actually joining up with the squad alone till the end of the season. Menya is there to welcome him to the side, the Italian Nonto. Spent the past couple of years at Leeds. He's got a bright future ahead of him. Can we just try and unlock him and we've got the Coppa Italia coming up and he start from minute one he's proved himself in the Champions League Lombardi gonna give him the start here the young Italian goalkeeper Nonto already capped by Italy he's gonna get the start from minute one here he's been at the club for about two days there he is lining up next to Leao and Lombardi saved a crucial penalty in the Champions League. It can only grow if you give them game time. We've got the Kuiper starting, Benacer, Pobega. Hopefully all those other players are not going to be needed. Kerr with the captain's armband for today's match. Should have been Calabria. Let's see what Nonto can do starting. He looks very, very lively. De Quetelar trying to send him forward. Putting some pressure, Nonto. Going to be Monza, boys. Nonto through on goal. Nonto. Saved by Di Gregorio. He's getting in those dangerous positions. David, come on. Learn a, a few things, please. Why are you not making runs? Calabria, how does that go all the way back? Give him the number 37 because 7 plus 3 makes 10. That's the number he wants. And uh, all the numbers he had in his history as a, a footballer have already been taken. That's a cross in. Alessandro, good save by Lombardi. You notice I haven't been playing Esposito. He just literally hasn't been cutting it for me. Nonto and Lombardi... Maybe trying to get Esposito out for loan. I wanted to either loan him out at the beginning of the series or sell him on. And he just hasn't been that great, boys. I know he has the fantastic potential, but he, he just hasn't been good at all. Kept the core of the team. We've signed some fantastic players. I think it's still as realistic as possible. The Kuiper in the box. The Kuiper. He can drop it back. Nonto. He's got Benacer. Benacer with the outside of his boot. So much space for us against Monza. If I'm not signing players, I'm not getting views on the videos. It is what it is. I, I see it. Trust me. And I think you see it too. When I put 50 million signing in the title, everybody clicks. When I don't and it's just an episode, it seems like a lot of regular viewers haven't been watching. And I don't know why. I'm sorry, boys. It, it is what it is. I gotta get with the time. There's obviously all the people who stay here and watch every single episode and wait for every single episode but don't worry i see it boys not trying to ignore it but i it just has to be said it always says fewer regular viewers are watching and i see it don't worry obega they out now Italare. everybody backing up obega from outside oh what a, this guy just he, he can't score normal goals he legit can't score normal goals yeah you show that again the Ketelar 
They're just backing up Monza. It's not going to be a team that's going to be that tough to play against. And it's freaking Povega. All he scores is bangers. Zaniolo has gone to Manchester United. That, that game against Roma was maybe his last match for Roma. D'Alessandro inside the box. Still got to watch out for these boys because they can do something at any time. Good challenge by Benacer. Nonto. The Kitalar getting forward. Jao. Try to send him in. He's so massive. He should be getting to that Verde now. Daniele Verde. Nonto in the box. Can he send him? Yamo Colombo. Going to bring him on. And Adli as well. Leal de Kitalar. Just trying to keep them fit. Verde has the power free kick trait. Where did the ball go? Knuckle. Okay. Where's the line? I don't know. Verde. From just outside the box. Goalkeeper makes the save. Di Gregorio. Always going for that knuckle shot. Trying to catch. The goalkeeper off guard, Nonto, moving to the left hand side. Pobega, Colombo, Nonto in from Colombo, oh, straight at the goalkeeper. Oh, referee. How isn't that a foul? Kier. Lovely stuff by Kier. Pobega, Nonto. The kids are playing today. The Kuiper, Nonto, continue running. Can we find him? Wilfred Nonto in the box. And he play it in, find Colombo. In the end, it was trying to find Verde. We've had so many opportunities to get a 2-3-4 nil lead in this game, but it was just not meant to be, was it? Now, now I'm stressing. Don't do this to me. Tomori, good challenge. The save by Lombardi. That looks like maybe the goalkeeper is going to come up. No, he's not going to come up for this one. Lombardi making a big save. Whipped in. The Kuiper's there. He's had a good game. Referee blow the full time whistle. What a goal by Povega. Advancing into the next round of the Coppa Italia. Monza stood no chance. Still got some time left in the January transfer window. But look at that, boys. 30 goals for, 8 against. And Dica is only going to solidify that. You saw that against Juventus. Sassuolo in second with 54. Inter 52. Napoli 44. Who's at the bottom of the pack? Because you're not seeing every single game. Benevento, Cremonese, Spezia. And obviously, you guys know that we are taking on Barcelona in the round of 16. We've been drawn up against Atalanta in the quarterfinals. All the big teams remaining in this competition of the Coppa Italia. Should we be making another signing? I have absolutely no idea. I think the team is solid for the rest of the season. David slowing down a bit, but just hopefully giving other people the chance to score. But in 20 appearances, 17 goals is magnificent for the Canadian. Five goals, six assists for De Quetelar. Leao continuing to play well. Verde, Obega with two goals and just bangers upon bangers. Tomori getting his first goal of the season. He's had the most games played. Giroud with one, Colombo with one, Sanders with one and we also did like i said sign and dicka played five games in the champions league with psg was not gonna get that much game time won the super cup with us played in Serie A against juventus we are doing fantastic this season if you guys have enjoyed this episode you guys can leave me a like down below thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate all the support and the patience on these episodes they can't come out every day because this is not a full-time thing thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you Next time.